joy, laughter, and tears. There is no relationship which is stronger, yet more delicate, than this union to which you have come now to commit yourselves. Who presents this woman to be married to this man? My wife and I. Pass your hand over and give her a kiss, please. The bride and groom wish their guests to be seated. Just be nice and relaxed, okay? You're going to answer. <laughs> will you, Gregory, have Jennifer to be your wife, and will you pledge yourself to her to love and honor, to cherish and care for, in faith and tenderness, in the holy bond of marriage? I will. And will you, Jennifer, have Gregory to be your husband, and will you pledge yourself to him to love and honor, to cherish and care for, in faith and tenderness, in the holy bond of marriage? I will. There you go. I, Gregory, take thee, Jennifer. I, Gregory, take thee, Jennifer. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. To death do us part. According to God's holy sacrament according to God's holy sacrament and there too and there too I pledge thee my faithfulness I pledge thee my faithfulness amen amen Jennifer I Jennifer take thee Gregory I Jennifer take thee Gregory to be my husband to be my husband to have and to hold to have and to hold from this day forward from this day forward for better for worse for better for worse for richer for poorer for richer for poorer in sickness and in health in sickness and in health to love and to cherish to love and to cherish till death us do part till death us do part according to god's holy sacrament according to god's holy sacrament and there too and there too i pledge thee my faithfulness i pledge thee my faithfulness amen amen that's <laughs> Let us pray. Bless, O Lord, this ring, that Gregory who gives it and Jennifer who wears it may abide in thy peace and continue in thy favor unto their life's end. Amen. Repeat after me. Receive and wear this ring. Receive and wear this ring. As a symbol of my love for you. As a symbol of my love for you. And as a pledge. And as a pledge. Of all my faithfulness. Of all my faithfulness. Amen. Amen. Can you get it? There we go. <laughs> and let us pray. And bless, O Lord, this ring, that Jennifer who gives it and Gregory who wears it may abide in thy peace and continue in thy favor unto their life's end. Amen. Jen, receive and wear this ring. Receive and wear this ring. As a symbol of my love for you. As a symbol of my love for you. And as a pledge. And as a pledge. Of all my faithfulness. Of all my faithfulness. Amen. Amen. Let us unite together in prayer. O eternal God, creator and preserver of all people, the giver of all spiritual grace and the author of everlasting life, send thy blessings upon these thy servants, this man and this woman, whom we bless in thy name, that they living faithfully together may surely perform and keep the vow and promises between them made, and may ever remain in perfect love and peace together. O oh God, look mercifully upon Gregory and Jennifer, that they may love and honor and cherish each other, and so live together in patience and wisdom, in true godliness, that their home may be a haven of blessing and of peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now, Gregory and Jennifer, I'd like to thank you, first of all, that you have me here. You see, I always think this is a very great privilege to be a pastor who's able to join a man and a woman as husband and wife. Because, you see, these are all the people who love you the most, and you have included me, and I thank you for that. I also know that Jesus Christ is here. This is his world. He loved the birds of the air and the lilies of the field, and this is where he was at home. So it doesn't need to be in a church. He's just as present here as he would be in a great cathedral. But I also like to believe that from some corner of heaven, my mother and my father are here. And there's a reason for that, Gregory because my mother and my father had a wonderful marriage and I grew up in a very happy home. My father never put down my mother. All the years I was growing up, I'd see my dad look at my mother as a little boy and there was a light in my father's eyes. And when I was middle-aged and he was elderly and his hands shook a little bit, I'd see him look at my mom and the same light was there. We never ever did pick on our mother as children. 
When my father went to work, it was a very different day. And he would look at the seven children that were from that marriage, and you don't have to take over that part of the marriage. But the happiness I would like you to have. And I will never forget how my dad would, before he would go to work, would say, you'll be good to your mother when I'm at work. And if you're not good to your mother, when I come home, you're going to suffer severe pain. <laughs> now, the other part.